I was uh, looking through Instagram and someone commented um, about a post from yesterday's video. Christian Koob says, your mistress is at the start is like, what? WTF? Must maintain the element of surprise. <laughs> surprise, you know, you gotta be surprising. You gotta get people's attention. Yeah. It's a bit chilly in the studio today. That's why I'm got two hoodies on. I'll be doing a video soon on heating and cooling in a music production environment. At least what I've been using. I think it's a really important topic. <laughs> All of that to be said, I just have a heater under the desk and it feels nice and toasty on my kneecaps. Uh, so turn your heaters on because winter's coming. Getting Ableton Live loaded up. Ah, nothing like the blank canvas on a on a cold 75. 75 it is. And for the melody today, it's this thing that I've been playing on the banjo for some time, and I'll play it for you now. I need to get this thing tuned, though, and my children took my tuner. Wow, she holds a tune like a beauty. I feel like I'm sitting so low. Hi, guys. Oh, yes. Much better. Yeah, it's a shy banjo. Come back, yeah. That last note. I hit some string and it went. So let's take that out and just duplicate that so it goes. Oh, we already got some chops in there. Look at that. We're chopping up a sample. It's so fun and easy. Nice one, baby! All right, I got the sample going, and we're just going to listen to it, and I'm going to add some dynamic squashing tool called a compressor because the, the, the banjo's plunky, as they say. So I'm going to squash the plunks. Watch this. Observe. Squashing. When this little thing wiggles, it's squashing it. All right, now I got one sample loaded into this drum rack. I'm gonna make a choke group, and only one of these samples can play at a time. That's all, just one, just one. You with me? All right, now we're gonna chop it up. Moving a start or stop point. All right, this is my sample chop. Now we're gonna add just a sparkle of delay to that so I can have something to work with. Do you notice how much time I'm spending on the first parts of this? That is intentional. I, I want to make sure that I'm on the right track with my resources, with that original spark that I got from this idea, this chord progression. In one of the courses in Make More Music Academy, and it's just my entire workflow, I talk about chasing the spark. It's, it's kind of like its own thing. It's as if the song is already written and all I have to do is unbox it. And it, it feels like a gift. It's something that gets you really excited and curious. You want to know what's inside. And for me, that can be as simple as a melody, a little chord progression, the intro to one of your a song that you listen to as a kid and you're like, oh, if I could just flip that. Like... It's a sound that when you hear it, you get wiggles. Like my little son, Wesley, he gets the wiggles. He's really excited, and I've called him Wesley Wigglebottom. That's what um, his new name has been, because he gets so excited, he just can't stop a wiggling. Everybody say good morning to Wesley. <gasps> good morning, Wesley. Wesley, what do you have to say? <laughs> How would you go back to sleep? Can you go back to sleep? It's 5.20 in the morning. 5.22. Can you go back to sleep, please? 
Okay, that was just a, an unexpected entrance from Wesley. So I'm going to get back to making this beat while I was getting him set up with a movie to watch because it's like still before 6 in the morning. So let's keep making music. It is day number three. New song every day, November. <laughs> Too many adjectives. Let's go back to the original idea, the spark that I started with, the root of inspiration for this project. <laughs> So I pitched that up and turned it into this. This drum rack, which is all the drums. And then this is the chopped up sample that's all crazy and uh, awesome. Here we have these really gnarly sounds. This one's kind of ominous and scary. Then we have these drums that are just... Uh. I say all of this because I want to do something different. I need some surprise. So I'm going to find a sound that's softer, maybe like a synth pad or something nice and soothing. Maybe some vocal sounds. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to arrange this, get these two sections into some continuous continuity with a verse, chorus, verse, chorus structure, write some lyrics, and I'll be back soon. So let's get to it. And we'll check in with the family because it has been a while. Uh, maybe other children have woken up. I'm not sure. It's always a surprise. The element of surprise. I think I'm onto something with that. I'm thinking lyrics. Thinking lyrics. <laughs> Ah, yes, I know that's a lot of fun, but listen to this. I was uh, browsing as I get my arrangement all set up. It's looking good. We got the intro. Then a little drop. Then a verse. Then a little bridge. Then a final drop. So I wanted some bass. I'm looking for some bass. And listen to this. That is the most gladiest awesome 808 ever. And I want it to be somewhere around here. It's a mess right now, but I'm going to add an auto pan. Boom. Then you got to take the phase away, change the shape, invert it, crank it up, and then shape it like this. And you get the, the awesomeness. <laughs> I have some lyrics written down, and I'm going to make a new audio track, call it Vocals, and record what I just wrote down here. I'm going to say it right quick before I record it, and you can watch the video of me s saying all of this and recording it onto the song, um, and then link in the description or... Um, as I close this out. The chorus is just, what's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? And I take, a, I take a whack at that. Probably the problems are bent on self-destruction. One life, two faces. Fits and malfunctions. What's the problem? The problem with this is the possibility of plausible cause being lost on you. You thinking that you're worthless is a problem. Yeah. 